I'm Michael Thace. I'm a professor of psychiatry at the University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Uh, I think one of the most interesting secular trends that's happened in the care of depressed people is the increasing use of antidepressant combinations. And this is not only true for psychiatrists, but also for high prescribing primary care doctors. Some of the most widely used combinations are bupropion and SSRIs and the combination of venlafaxine and, and mirtazapine. Uh, I think the use of this these combinations show us that, that our existing monotherapies have real limitations. It's an honest attempt to craft better antidepressants or more powerful antidepressants for our patients. Of course, when we combine two medications, we, we have some increase in side effects simply from using two different medications with different side effect profiles. There also is the potential for metabolic side effects, uh, metabolic interactions. And so one medicine could affect the other medicine's metabolism. A and importantly, um, we have decided to do this combination instead of doing something else. And typically some of those other things that are overlooked or not done, such as switching to a tricyclic or a monoamine oxidase inhibitor or thinking about ECT, uh, are treatments with better proven effects. And so um, the, the increasing use of uh, antidepressant combinations sort of sidetracks us from using better, more stronger, more evidence-based uh, uh, treatments. So uh, I'd argue to be uh, cautious and judicious about the use of combinations to keep in mind that, that none of them are proven at a level that would lead to an FDA indication. Few of them even have two positive studies and that at any given decision point, the decision to combine antidepressants has less evidence uh, of benefit than other reasonable alternatives.